This morning, the U.S. surpassing a staggering 10 million COVID-19 infections, the highest number of reported cases in any nation. In the past week, roughly 74 Americans were diagnosed every minute. Countries across Europe are struggling to keep COVID-19 at bay. France has reported its highest daily death toll since the start of the second wave. And the weekly death toll in England and Wales has jumped by 41%, surpassing 1,000 for the first time since June. In Utah, overcrowding in intensive care units, forcing Governor Gary Hubert to declare a new state of emergency. I am placing the entire state of Utah under a mask mandate until further notice. That's right. Corona is blowing up in Europe and America again. In fact, it's rampaging across the Western world so hard that scientists have had to invent new shades of red for those COVID maps. So right now the Midwest is kind of blood meets uh, fire engine, but the East Coast over here is only at pothead eyes. And I see what Corona did here. It waited for all of us to be distracted by the election and then boom, snuck into our lungs. It's like how Joey Fatone snuck into NSYNC. Everyone was so focused on rehearsing the dance moves, they didn't notice their bus driver had joined the group. It's gotten so bad that now even Utah is under a mask mandate. And you know shit is bad when even Mormons are using protection. So that's the bad news. But I did promise you the good news too. And people, this is the news we've all been waiting for. The drug giant Pfizer said yesterday that its vaccine candidate has, was more than 90% effective in early testing. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the government's top infectious disease expert, called the news extraordinary. He also says there are likely to be other effective vaccines coming soon. The news from Pfizer was even better than expected. I would have been very satisfied with a 70% effective vaccine. According to a Pfizer press release, out of almost 44,000 trial participants, 94 got sick from COVID four weeks after the start of the two-dose regimen and seven days after the second dose. Protection from symptomatic COVID was greater than 90%. We were jumping out of the chairs, screaming, basically, this is unbelievable. Oh, my God. We may put an end to this ter terrible pandemic. Jumping out of their chairs, screaming. You know something is good news if it turns a laboratory into the Apollo. The COVID protection rate is 90%. And maybe it's because I grew up watching Dexter's Lab, but this scientist's accent makes me want to trust him more. 